So the other day it was the national commemoration of uh, D-Day, the 80th anniversary. Light a lamp for peace. A bonfire and bagpipes were going on down at the port on the beach, so we thought we'd go down. Our car's been in the garage for a couple of weeks, so I had to de-rust our bikes, clean up the chains and get them working, and uh, off we went. I think it's important to show our respect because I knew my granddad was a, a medic in the war. Uh, so I'd like to pay my respect to him and you know to all the other chaps that had to go through such a horrific undertaking. On top of that, this area's like got quite a rich history in terms of the war because around 15 square miles was uh, requisitioned by the army to practice for the D-Day landings. Around a thousand residents were given a month's notice and off they went, evacuated. Um, so, you know, all these local country people, they had to leave their homes behind, sell their livestock, crops and equipment. Huge undertaking. You know, these guys were very, very remote. So they found themselves in towns with cars, traffic, running water, electricity, flush toilets, all for the first time. So massive culture shock for them. And uh, indeed, must have been quite a lonely, isolated time for them, being very homesick. And when they eventually got up to move back, and not all of them did, because some homes were destroyed in the preparation, but those that did move back, they found mortar shells in their, in their houses, holes in their roofs, craters all over the land, wildlife scared off, so quite a big undertaking. And uh, definitely a lot of people say that the training that um, went on here really contributed to the success of D-Day. Not only because the landscape was close match for Normandy, but the weather conditions up here were pretty harsh. And uh, the day of D-Day, the weather was vile, so the guys that trained up here were fully prepared for it. And another thing, the Germans saw us training this far north and uh, they anticipated that the invasion would be coming maybe Norway. So the Germans held back a lot of troops for that possibility. And some credit the success of D-Day because of that. The Germans were spread quite thin. So yeah, very interesting time for uh, the people of this area.